Hey dudes and dudettes, it's Simon Hurley and welcome back to another video. Now today, I'm a little bit nervous because I'm going to be recreating and reacting to the first video I ever posted on YouTube. It was about five years ago when I first started and although it may look like I have everything together, when I first started, I definitely did not. This video is not privated on YouTube, but I wanted to share it with you all in an attempt to really show you guys that you can start wherever you are, and even though it might not be perfect, with lots of practice and lots of trial and error, you can definitely grow from that experience. I don't know a ton about this video, but I know my voice is a lot higher. I do not sound at all like myself and I was really on a huge budget. I had like no money to my name and I would spend all my Christmas and birthday money on craft supplies. And I started on a folding table in my basement and I was just as happy doing it then as I am now. So I'll definitely, when I'm recreating it, be using some other supplies. However, you can really use whatever you see in this video. All right, let's watch. This is funny because my, my logo was never supposed to be red. This is the old Eclipse logo and it was supposed to be blue, but when my brother created it for me, he made it red and I didn't know how to change it back then, so that's what's in the video. Hey guys, it's Simon <laughs> from Eclipse and um, today I'm going to be making a really cool card that kind of inspired me by Jennifer McGuire, so... Love you, Jennifer. <laughs> She's so awesome. She was the one who got me into card making and I was so inspired. Um, so yeah, you can obviously tell that I was inspired by her even at the first video. Go check out her channel if you want to see a video sort of like this. Um, I'm just kind of changing it up a little bit. So let's get started. I'm going to start out with a mini distressing pad. This is the Peacock Feathers pad and you'll notice that I'm working on just a sheet protector. So if it wiggles around a little bit, that's kind of why. Guys, when I'm telling you I had no money to my name, I meant it. I was in the basement using a sheet protector um, and old blending tools and stuff like that, but it worked, right? Like just do whatever makes you happy. That's the biggest thing that I think you can take away from this video. But wow, my voice is high. <laughs> it was like 10 octaves higher back then. You'll also notice that this kind of looks like the salty ocean color because I kind of share a sponge with this because I didn't do any editing back then either, so there's a lot of rambling that I'll probably end up skipping over. Here I was talking about how the new little round mini ink blending tools came out, and I was still using the older ones. You'll see my blending isn't amazing because of that. The new blending technology has definitely changed since then with the blending tools. And just kind of blend those two colors together, and this is where it starts looking a little bit better. It kind of gets rid of those strokes you kind of had, and you're gonna wanna go over that, um, see this preserves just a little bit, you kind of overlap them and that'll make a little bit of darker purple kind of navy color in between. It looks really cool. So back then, I even knew what I was talking about. If you are struggling with blending, one of the really great things you could do is go back and forth between the colors and that'll help them blend together in the end. Now the next thing I'm going to be doing is, you probably have seen um, Jennifer McGuire do this a lot. I mix Perfect Pearls into water and I put it in a little spray bottle. So now it's going to be pearlized water. I'll show you guys how to do this in a little bit, but Jennifer, I was that, that was the first person who I saw do this. She puts water and perfect pearls together and you get this beautiful pearly mist. It's amazing. All you're gonna wanna do is just shake um, this bottle a ton because you're gonna want no pigments to be on the bottom. Once you see that there's no pigments, you're good. And so now I'm just gonna spray this to the side once and I'm gonna keep the trigger held down and I'm gonna go about one foot above and I'm just gonna keep going up and down with that trigger, not fully spraying the nozzle though. Um, just kinda get little dribbles on there. So it creates kind of a galaxy background in the end and in my video that I do today recreating this you'll definitely see it in a little bit higher definition. This is like 240 pixels um, but now we're in HD so you guys will see it a lot better but it creates this really great shine on your background. Next you've probably seen Diane Reevely do this a lot. I'm going to just take a paper towel roll and just roll it right over my project. Then I'll just get rid of any water that is sitting on the surface of that <laughs> um, distress ink and that should be good. The obnoxious sound of a heat tool. Uh. Thank you guys so much for watching my um, first video on my channel. I hope you guys really enjoyed and are looking forward to some more card tutorials in the future. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and have an amazing day. Oh my gosh, okay, so that's really awesome to see. I think it just kind of warms my heart even seeing myself back then and how much I've changed. 
and like kind of grown up on the internet really. And I, I'm gonna recreate this card, but definitely take some design liberties to it now what I know about design. But it's super fun to go back and look at old videos and know that it took a long time to get where I am and it did not happen overnight. And so if you wanna go for what you, you know, wanna do, take the first step. It might be a little bit cringy. You can always private it later, even though I'm just sharing it with the whole world now. Um, but definitely start, take the leap and do what you want. Okay, so let's get right into the card. Knowing what I know about design, I wanted to add a larger sentiment on the card. Today I'm gonna to use my encouraging word stamp set from Simon Hurley Create, and I'm gonna use the follow your dreams and don't let anyone stop you sentiment. I love this, and I think it really rings true for today's video. Now instead of stamping the sentiment on a piece of black cardstock afterwards, I'm gonna do a little bit of emboss resist. So I'm gonna take my antiseptic powder tool, and I have a video up in the top right corner linked of how I share to make this tool a little bit less messy with the binder clip. And then I'll go in and ink my sentiment up with some embossing ink. Make sure it's nice and inked up, and then I'll go in and stamp this down. And if you want to, you could always stamp it using a misty, but I'm just gonna make sure that I give it lots of good pressure to make sure everything stamps. Then I'll bring in my clear embossing powder, sprinkle it over the top, and then I'm going to heat set this until it turns nice and shiny, and I'm not gonna make you guys listen to the heat tool. All right, so now I'm going to go in and do my ink blending, and I brought in a couple of colors from my Simon Hurley Create inks. So I'm gonna use my mini ink blending tools. I raved in the video about how I didn't have these yet, and now we do. So let's go in and do some blending. So with blending, like I said in the video, or I think I said this, um, that blending can sometimes look a little bit bad at first, and then it can look beautiful in the end and it's all about layering and the color process. So if I knew I was just blending one little section and blending it out to white, I'd probably take a little bit more time to lay down the color. But since I know we're covering the full background, I'm not gonna worry too much about the edges or anything like that, because those will all get blended together in the end. Then I'll bring in a little bit of Midnight Snack. I love this darker navy color that we've added to the line because it can really give lots of depth and dimension by bringing in that darker color and look how that's resisting it with the ink blending and the embossing. All right, so then I'll go in with Triple Berry, which is kind of a pinkish purple color. That's gonna give me some nice color variation here. I'll go in in a couple areas, and I like to start out usually with the lighter version of the color, and I can always build on the lighter color, but I can't really take a ton of dark color away. So then I'll go in with Crown Me to finish it off. This is a great kind of like grape purple and it's totally creating this really cool galaxy effect. And I'll go in to all the different areas and add a little bit of color in there. And then, like I said, you can always go back and forth between colors if needed. So I'm gonna go to Midnight Snack and just add a little bit of darker navy kind of over top of some of the colors and in between some of those areas to really bring in the galaxy vibe of the background that I was going for. Now in the video, I shared how to do a lift technique with just water and perfect pearls to add a little bit of shine, which is such a fun technique. I actually forgot about it, but I learned it originally from Jennifer McGuire. So I'm gonna grab my Distress Sprayer and I filled this with a little bit of water. You can have a mini mister or a separate spray bottle from the one you normally use so you guys can keep this as well. I'm gonna take off the top grab my Perfect Pearls. This is in the color Perfect Pearl, but you can really do it with any one, gold, silver, any color of Perfect Pearls that you want. This is just a pearl powder that you can add to the water, and it's going to kind of mix in and react to create that shiny water. So I'm taking a piece of folded cardstock just to act as a little scooper so I don't dump and um, you know make a mess on my desk. I'll bring in a little bit of that pearl powder, and again, you can add a ton more if you want to, if you have lots of water in here, or just use a little bit of water so you can get a really concentrated pearly effect. And start kind of really giving it a good shake to mix this all in. And you can see when I shake this up, that pearl in there is moving around and it's ready to be sprayed. Okay, I'll spray it a couple times to get a good mist going, and then I'll go in on my background and I'm just going to kind of pull the trigger a little bit to get these cool drops and it's going to create a great galaxy effect. And then, of course, you can spray over top the whole thing to get a nice pearl effect across the background. Now, in the video, I went in with a paper towel roll. Now, I've upgraded to just a cloth. This is the microfiber cloth from Brutus Monroe. And I've been using it the past couple of weeks, but I switch out my cloths every once in a while. But look at that awesome reaction you get, and I think you guys can tell a little bit, hopefully, that that pearl powder gives a ton of shine, and in real life, 
It is so beautiful. So definitely try that and it'll give you a cool resist that also adds tons of shine onto your project. Then I'm going to mat it onto a piece of black cardstock and this has just the tiniest border. In the first video, you can see it had a much larger border, but when I'm adding black cardstock, I just like a little peak of black from the edges. And honestly, I think I'm gonna leave it here. I actually like this. It gives a fairly masculine look to the card. Of course, if you wanted to, like I had planned, you could totally put sequins down if you really liked that. But if you want a more masculine look, I would stay away from that and just keep it really nice and simple. All right, so the card we created is pretty simple, but this was my first video on YouTube, and I had so much fun sitting down and reacting to it and recreating it with you guys today on camera. Hopefully this showed you that you don't have to be perfect when you start card making or when you start creating videos on YouTube or whatever you guys wanna do. It takes some time, it takes practice and patience, but it's always so much fun to look back and see what you started at. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what you thought of my first video. Don't be too mean about it. <laughs> and give this video a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button down below so you never miss more card making and crafting videos like this one from me. All right guys, I'll see you very soon. Um, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.